we rolling? Okay. And action. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Just as I walk away for two seconds. Hi, you guys. Hi. Whoa. Look, we have some boxes. Are you I'm awesome. I am doing really well. Like, I yeah. drive around the neighborhood and I <laughs> look at all the trees and listen to the birds and then come back home. <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you, have you been quarantining well? Some people are faring well. Some people are like, I've had enough. I'm going to kill everybody. And <laughs> it, it, some people it's going in ways. Where are you in the, uh, in the wave of it. In the wave. Are you, are you embracing it or are you like? No, no, I've had a, a couple of moments where I'm like, sure. You know, but um, mm. um, but I'm I'm actually really embracing it because it's given me an opportunity to just like work on all these projects I've been wanting to address and look at and just things that have been like laying dormant forever. And so I've been able to get a lot of stuff done in this house. And you know that's cool. Looking, Moving back after living in Canada for seven and a half years, I came home to a house that needed a lot of love and work and like transitioning back into this and decorating and like gardening. Yeah. I mean, gardening, <laughs> guys. No, I no. planted dahlias. Wow. You, you planted dahlias. Ooh. I planted dahlias. Oh, very impressive. It's fancy. I was really excited about that one. So, I like, it, have you got. Be nice. Have you got a drink? It's really important. You know, I, I felt like it was proper to start with tea and then, <laughs> uh, and then move over. By the time you're finished this interview, you'll, you'll, you'll be drinking scotch right out of the <laughs> well, the Sean, what cabinet isn't far, so. <laughs> Sean, what have you got? Coincidentally. You got? Oh, damn. Wait. Coincidentally. Oh, come on, Lana. I, I Without prior have... warning, both opted for a cheeky little rosé on this we are so... Warm. Cheeky, have you got any? Evening. It's not summer, but it feels like summer. It is 90 degrees today. It's so hot. It has to be in a proper, even though this what? is more of a... Now, there you go. I can't help you. I'm looking at them. Bed. This isn't really a proper rosé glass. Um, Wait, that is rosé. It looks good. Now, now. Uh, yes, yeah, now it's a party. Woo! Yeah. Ready? Oh. Cheers! Cheers! Yay! Cheers. Rosé all day! <laughs> shut, shut. This is so oh exciting. God, oh my God. I wish we were all in your hot tub right now. Even right. though it's really hot, I could still, no, maybe your pool. We could get in your pool. You know, I am very blessed to have a beautiful backyard. And so that's oh, it's helped. gorgeous. And your I back garden is amazing. It really does help as, you know, as well. Your back garden is a vacation. I love, we've had some fun nights in your back garden. <laughs> yeah, we have. I know, I'm really, really blessed. I love my yard. I love that I have a pool. I've, I've been mm. swimming and it's been so hot in LA. You're in LA, mm -hmm. both of you are in LA, right? I'm sweating right now. I'm so hot. This armpit is like... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad because a couple of weeks... More than the it, other one. A couple of weeks where it was kind of cloudy. It, like anybody that's ever lived in... LA or California will tell you, people get weird when it gets cloudy, people aren't used to it. So no. there was the pandemic and cloudiness, people I think were gonna lose their minds. So yeah, like, it took people to the dark out. side. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be people don't know how to do it. Cloudy. <laughs> yeah, you know, I know, there's been, today it was like in the 90s so it was really, yeah. really fun. I just feel bad for our furry babies, you know, that are covered oh my God. wearing fur coats and they're like, oh. my, you know, their paws are burning. I know. I, mean, I just. I genuinely regret buying a bear now. I see that. <laughs> I mean, they're so cute <laughs> in the pet shop. The boys saw it and oh, we've got to have a bear. And I was like, well, you know, why not? Why not? What <laughs> can happen with buying a small grizzly bear and letting it loose in our yard? Um, uh, it's fine. It's it's killed a couple of the neighbours, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what a way to go. I got, I got Bella groomed on Sunday and it cost me a fortune because I had, the woman lives near my old house, but she had to drive like an hour to get to me, plus the grooming, plus an hour, the whole thing. I could have bought 
a whole new dog I by the time it, like, it was dog, done. Dog grooming is deemed like, and it was from the get-go, an essential service. And I'm like, oh, yeah. really? <laughs> is it? It's up there with the fire in your bed. It is when they're in your bed. Yeah, I mean, still. It's more for you than them. <laughs> yeah, granted. I mean, our dog, I mean, he just walks around like a giant Muppet now. He can't see, it's just hair in front of his face. And I'm like... Like father, oh, like son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had oh a really God. funny, we had actually a funny grooming day, Lola and I, because where I take her has been closed down, of course. So, yeah. um, and she was really getting stinky because she's been rolling around in the grass, et cetera. And she's also allergic to everything. Mm -hmm. So I have, I have a shower downstairs on the first level and it's like a tiny shower, but it has a glass door. And I thought, this is perfect. She can't jump out. If she, you know, we can just, yeah. so we're not, like squeezed in there, the two of us. <laughs> like trying, I'm trying to bathe her and it was just like, <laughs> what is happening? And then I thought, why didn't I just do this in the backyard? <laughs> like I didn't have to <laughs> cram us both into the shower. <laughs> How stupid. We, we started, we started yeah. washing the dog in the bath and then I was like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever done. We got the garden hose, because the dog hates it anyway. So right. just shampoo him like crazy and then hose him down like he's a prison convict. <laughs> he's bonkers anyway, so you might as well do it out in the yard. Oh yeah, God. she was looking at me like, why are we doing this? And I looked back, I was like, I don't know why. This was a really bad idea. Uh, but, and then the, you know, I, I sort of flooded the bathroom a little I, bit. I did you see know. on Twitter today that, that Captain America, Chris Evans, uh, who apparently has a, a lovely dog that he clearly loves, he cut his own dog's hair and it did not go <laughs> well. And I was like, why, why would you even attempt to cut the dog's hair? That just seems like, uh, that just seems like it's obviously going to go wrong. Like the dog's going to just stay very still. Don't move. Don't move or it'll cut your hair up. Up to it's you. an accident waiting to happen. <laughs> what have you been doing? Like, please cut my hair. I can't see anything. <laughs> I've got the Met Gala in two weeks. Lana, <laughs> what have you been doing about your grooming for yourself? Um, well, not very well because I stink. <laughs> I've gone days, days without bathing, and that's, that's terrible. <laughs> Woo! I can smell really. it from here. I figured. Must. Um, but I. <laughs> And I think it's more just like, well, you know, if I'm not going anywhere and I'm not doing anything, then I may as well just like not yeah. shower. So, yeah. um, but I, but I started showering about a week ago and <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> happy about that. Oh, and Lola. <laughs> a week ago. You've been in the house for eight weeks. Dom sponsors <laughs> the world over and breathe a huge sigh of relief there. Like, oh God, she's washing again. <laughs> my neighbors started complaining. They were really like, no, not my case. Um, no, but I, I actually dyed my roots for the first oh, nice. time ever, and oh, that was, exciting. that was, it was quite an experience. I had a, a good yeah. friend of mine give me a tutorial. She was on FaceTime with me as I was doing it and guiding me through <laughs> it. Um, and, um, and it worked-ish. I, I realized- It looks good. Your hair looks really good. Thank you. Thank you. You do, you do pandemic well, my friend. Thanks. I think you look great. Thank I would you. never, I would never know the world had closed just looking at you. Well, you know, um, I, I wanted to look good for you too. You, know, when you <laughs> mentioned uh, doing your roots there. I don't, I don't think <laughs> I spoke to you about this story. Do you know I'm going to uh -oh. say I'm scared. Uh, no. I told, I think I told Rebecca and Mark this story that when we were in Italy last, because we should have been in Italy, all of us should have been in Italy. Yes, last two week. weeks ago, two weeks ago, yeah. When we were there last, <laughs> Uh, we, me and Tony went to the opera one night and it was good because I really loved the opera. It was, bit, it was a bit stuffy. I didn't, I didn't know that opera. So we went, I'll keep this really short because the punchline <laughs> is really it, all of it. And we went, Tony said, there's one in a house, in a Venetian house. And it's just like four players and they do uh, the Barber of Seville. And it was amazing. It was incredible. We went, we, long story, we got in, but there was a woman in front of me and uh, two of them and they kept talking through the opera, and, and the players are like, oh my here. God. They're four feet from you, and they're singing, mama, you got a mama, you got a mama, you got a mama, and the talking. And I'm going mad, and I'm looking at Tony like, I'm just going <laughs> And then this Italian man beside me looks at me and goes, and I'm like, right? Right? And I'm so I get so irate. And this other calm Italian man is very passionate, doesn't do anything. Eventually, I get really annoyed, and I tap her on the shoulder, and I'm like, excuse me. 
excuse me. Shh. And she looks at me like. <laughs> and I was like, they're performing. And so she looked back really, really disgruntled. So anyway, we have to move after the first act. We go to the second act. And I've noticed something about her because she's been sitting in front of me for 45 minutes. Uh -huh. Anyway, at the interval, she comes over and goes, I didn't really appreciate you telling me to be quiet. And I was like, well, I didn't appreciate you talking during the opera. Yeah. So I was trying to tell my daughter that I really liked the opera. And I was like, well, that's what the interval is for. And then we got <laughs> to do. She goes off on me and then I end with, well, maybe you should go get your roots done because I've been looking at the back of your head for half an hour and you really could see a hairdresser. Oh my God. Yeah. At that point, Tanya just looked at me like, you were in the right. The whole way you were in the right. You Until brought the end. Up roots. And I was like, yeah. No, I see, I see where I went wrong. I see yeah. where I went wrong. Yeah. <laughs> So I oh understand. I understand what roots and oh. the ladies and that woman's probably very mentally scarred. Oh my god! <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I remember that. that. Someone said that to me. Thank God, no one has said that to me. But yeah, <laughs> it's been um, it, it was quite the experience. And then I've been doing a lot of like masks since you can't get facials. Have you? I've been doing yeah, I've been doing masks, and and Trish has been making these aloe masks for us, which is really nice. Sean, do you know Trish? Trish is one of my dear friends. I was just she, about to ask, is, is that who you're quarantined with? Yeah, she kind of like been quietly walking behind yeah, me. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, she's like, I have to maybe maybe unpack those in there. Um, so she's she's been quiet. I'm like, just maybe unpack those in there because I keep carrying water and stuff. Come in at any moment. Um, but she's been quarantined with me. She actually lives here with me. And, oh, lovely. Uh, yeah, she's she's one of my besties. That we've been friends for oh my god, probably eighteen years now. So and, when you guys uh, when you guys get through whatever you do in the day, then what do you do? Like, how do you plan your evening? You go right dinner and then a movie, or dinner and then. Oh, you know this is great. We've been watching the Twilight Zone almost every single Ooh. night. Oh no, nice. like the old one or the new one? All the old ones. I hear the oh, new ones are brilliant. terrible. I hear the new ones are terrible. Well, I don't know. I haven't seen them, but I'm into the old ones because. You watch them and you literally go, oh my God, we're in that right now. <laughs> like we are living <laughs> in the Twilight Zone. Yeah, but yeah, Martin, yeah. He was so incredibly talented. Mm. And I just, Rod Sterling was like, just his mind, he was a genius. And you watch these episodes. First of all, the episodes are spectacular. Yeah, they're brilliant. They're mini, mini movies really, aren't they? they? They really, and they're 25 minutes long. So you can get through like four a night. And it's, it's, it's something I really look forward to. And we've been actually doing this with, um, with George Lopez because he's a dear friend of mine. So, we, so what we do is we check in on FaceTime, the three of us, and it's Trish and I and, and George, and we get on and we're like, okay, which one are we watching tonight? And we take turns picking. And mm -hmm. then we text each other on a chat. And so we're all like, you know, making- Wait, are, you the the black, are you watching the black and white ones? Or black and white ones, the old one. Oh, have you watched the one where the guy finds the stop, uh, like a pocket watch and he can stop time? No, we haven't watched that one yet. So <laughs> each season has like 36 episodes. And the yeah, they, they made a million of them. They're amazing. Million of them. There's four seasons. There's one, two, three, and five on Netflix. Ooh, and I, you know honestly, what? I might check that out. It's 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 been it's like a highlight of my my day because I look forward to it. I look forward to watching the episodes, and I get something out of them. Do you know what? There's something else that's like that, and I don't know if you've seen this, Bex, but there was a series when I when we were all about I guess ten or eleven ish. There was a series called Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Yeah. Mm. Same thing. Like there were one-off vignette kind of stories which would just always leave you going, oh, oh what if it's just the, the brilliant uh, kind of creative, I don't know, just good escapism, but often stayed with me for days afterwards. Oh yeah, they, oh, they definitely man. stay with you. So how are you spending your days? What are you doing during the day? Are you working? Um, I am, I've just been like super creative. I started drawing, which by the way, I've, I've been cool. drawing my whole life, but I've, I've put it down for many years. Started mm -hmm. I started, I'm painting again That's and, nice. um, and I bought like this big throw for the floor and some canvases and a bunch of spray paints because I like spray painting. It's the Brooklyn girl in me. <laughs> like, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so God knows what the house is going to look like by the end of the quarantine. <laughs> like a, like it's going to look like a skate park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
it totally just graffiti everywhere <laughs> oh, i love graffiti it's so it's so my thing so i just i've been painting i've been drawing i've been writing um and reading quite a bit and different books i did the a, 21 days of abundance i did a, a meditation challenge and um and it, that was amazing because that was really cool tell everybody about that how you did it and how like through a chain of events you then made me do it <laughs> so um i was invited to do it and in, and my friend who invited me said you know there's some journaling involved and it's it's every day there's a task and i said you know well, what else am i doing i mean this is great and often we hear about meditation and how wonderful and and you know effective it is and but we never really think we have time to do it it's really 10 to 20 minutes a day you have time yeah. to do it yeah. you just yeah. have to make it a priority so in mm. the mornings i started doing this and i would journal even before i got out of bed mm. and it would just set me on a positive path for the day and by mm -hmm. task five you have to create your own group so i thought well who do i want in this group and i thought of bex <laughs> i Me. thought victoria and marin and my girlfriend navi mm -hmm. and um and so the and it was really nice being in in like a leader of a group and also being part of another group yeah, you know, it felt very much like I was responsible to these women, and it was important that I had to like give them tasks every day, and they were thriving, and things were happening in their lives, things were happening in my life, and things keep happening. So I really mm -hmm. feel like it's a law of attraction. Like you put mm -hmm. the intention out there, you think about what do you want, and you you manifest it, and you create it for yourself. And it's been I, I've had so much abundance as of like the last couple of weeks i'm actually overwhelmed i'm like this is so much i don't know what to i'm overwhelmed all my <laughs> are coming back but um <laughs> it's been so much fun and i'd spent i can't believe how long we've been in quarantine but it's been like is it eight weeks is it eight weeks how long has it been well, i think it's about eight weeks isn't eight, it like two months speaking, speaking of which have you i mean we're all in california for everybody else anywhere else right. in the world you're about to go through this or you've already gone through this, which is we're starting phase one, which is we're moving out of it and shops are starting to open and all of that. So when this, when this is sort of done and we are returning to normality, what do you <laughs> want to do? Like, where, where do you, where do you want to go first? Like I, I, I have an overwhelming urge to be around like a throng of people. I want to be, at <laughs> I want to go take Flynn. Like a rave, you know, like Burning day. Man. I want to be, yeah, like, hey, that's it. Yeah, I want to go somewhere and meet people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but oh, it, oh, hold on. Yeah, but, exactly, but sure, on. yeah. Well, you, but are you talking about, like, once we've reopened or once there's a vaccine? Because I don't want to lick anyone no, no, I'm until I know that I'm not going to get the COVID impact. No, you know I, mean? I know you want to lick me. You want to lick my face. Girl. No, I think, look, there's going to be, there's be loads of phases of bullshit, uh, but I think it won't be cool. The end of the year, beginning of next year. What that, that you can go to a concert? I don't you know. Can start that, oh, I don't know. Wait, are you talking about? You think by the end of the year there'll be a vaccine? Is that what you mean? Well, I think probably yes. I do think that. I mean, if you mm. like, some of the things I read today, that they, it feels like they're getting closer and closer to a vaccine. The, the estimates were about twelve to fourteen months. So, chances mm. are, look, Bill Gates said that there's ten massive companies that he backs that are all looking for it. And he's hoping two out of those 10 are gonna come up with it pretty soon and stuff. So yeah, I do. But what I'm saying is when it's done, done, like when we go right. to whatever the new world is that was like the one that we had before, when you okay, can got do it. a concert or you can be surrounded by okay. hundreds of people without being paralyzed. Yes. What, what was, what's the thing that you wanna do? Like, I have no desire to go to Coachella again because I'm too old. And, <laughs> Fun twenty years, ten years ago, but <laughs> not the same I either. Choose. I want to go to a football match. Not what it yeah. is. No, it's yeah, I want to go something like you know, a concert or something where you feel the connection of everybody, where you feel like. I probably want to go see because the summer is right around the corner. I probably want to see a show at the Hollywood Bowl. Yes, oh, no, I'm, oh. I'm not far from there. And John I'm Williams. If they do it this year, every year I miss. I want to see John Williams play all of those amazing themes at the Hollywood yeah. Bowl. That would be I'm cool. Just, I think they're doing the Jazz Fest there in June, on June 6th. I just got like a, a message from them. Is that still um, you, ahead though? You think that'll happen? I don't know, I don't know. I don't, mm. I don't know. I've been- Come I've been on, Lana, you've won the Hollywood Bowl. You should know these things. <laughs> I mean, 
mean, I have, I, I honestly don't think so. All of our conventions are canceled, right? Yeah. All of our, I know. our conventions have been canceled. Oh, yeah, so if there's anyone going to Boston, Toronto, and there was another one. Sorry, Summer, apparently we're not going there. Any Paris, all Paris. of it. Yeah, so many. Wait, Paris hasn't been canceled. The, the, well, you know, I know what I mean, like push. Oh, like, like, yeah, no, it hasn't it, been canceled. Postponed. postponed. I feel like everything's been postponed. But yeah. um, Wait, when are we supposed to go back to Paris then? November. Oh, that'd be great then. That'd be nice. If we can be in Paris yeah. in November, that'll be Yeah, we can wear coats. Yeah. Yeah, we can be really fashionable. Yeah, we can be fashionable. Yeah. I'm going to bring a selection really? of hats and pantaloons. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we have had a lot of fun, haven't we? Like, when I look back at Paris, and, like, I found some photos the other day of, like, Sean and Tanya drunk at a cafe in Paris. And the How dare you? We've pig- never been drunk in our lives. <laughs> I've never been drunk. <laughs> I'd say. Tony's just I'm shouting, like, fake news, fake news. <laughs> I've got yeah. so many photos on my phone of well, you know, I was looking in countries well. doing ridiculous things or like, you know, in each other's hotel rooms, like, <laughs> Well, you know, on your birthday, and when I posted that, that card. Oh, yeah, I love that. You have to teach me how to do that. That was lovely. I, I love it, that. It was so much fun. I don't even, first of all, my phone inspired me. It did something mm-hmm. that God knows how. Oh, it reminds you on this phone. day you did blah, blah, blah. Well, or no, an it iPhoto. Wasn't it wasn't this day. It was like, I searched Bex's face. Ah. Because, you know, because you can look for people. And I said, well, I yeah. want to see all of the photos that I've had with her. Like, there's like 7,000 pictures. <laughs> She, she lends herself to a photograph, that Rebecca made her. Because <laughs> we've and never hung out. Oh, my God, it crazy. Was, it, we have, the three of us especially, have yeah. traveled this globe <laughs> more than <laughs> anyone I've ever spent any time with in my life. Me too. Do you know Me too, Rebecca, more than any of my other friends. Like, Rebecca family, and Mark friends. and I realized we were in, was it Chicago? We were at the top of, like, a very tall, was it CN Tower? I can't remember in Chicago. Sears Tower, I forget. And we counted how many cities. So you and me and Rebecca would probably be about the same. Right. But we figured out that we've been to, th- was it 32 cities together? 32 different, like, yeah. major cities. And that was over was a like, year ago, so it's been grim. more. But we counted them, and I was like, oh, my God. We've Jesus. been around the world. It magically filled my glass all of a sudden. I don't understand. Did, yeah. did, you, did you just ma- magic it in? Yeah, I think I did. I thought it and Cheers. looked Cheers. Put it together in the universe. Rosé all day. Somebody. You know what's yeah. funny? I was saying I was saying to a friend earlier this time last year. Mark and I, after the Milan convention, we rented a car and we drove all over Italy for his birthday and around Lake Como, and then we went into France and Germany, and we had such an amazing That's time. When I thought we were both spies. Yes, <laughs> yes. But I was massively pregnant. I was really uncomfortable. We ended up in Rome, and like I've been, you know, we all three of us and everybody else have traveled so much on our hiatuses between seasons. And then since the show has ended, it's been travel, travel, travel. And I was so pregnant and uncomfortable. And I was like walking on cobblestone streets. I'm like, I'm sick of traveling. I'm sick of it. And I'm in my, I'm in my Birkenstocks and my skin was bulging. The fat was seeping out of my Birkenstocks. I'm like, I don't need bread coming out of the shoe. I can't see any more cathedrals. I'm done with looking at churches. How many cobblestone streets can I walk? I want to go home. I want to sit down. I want to eat. I want to watch telly. I don't want to go anywhere. I'm finished. Cut to a year later. I'm like, I miss traveling. I want to see churches. I miss Italy. I miss it. All of a sudden, you're one of the Von Trapp children walking up the Alps. <laughs> Maria? But I was just like, how ironic. Like, like, I was talking to a friend the other night. I'm like, wait, I was bitching about traveling a year ago. Now the world is closed. And then I went, oh, did I manifest the pandemic? <laughs> <laughs> it's all your fault. Thank you. I, I think it's important that we should um, a- a- allow ourselves the joy and the gift of moaning. We can't yeah. let people moaning. Moaning's very important, especially for an actor. We're prone to moan. <laughs> we can beat ourselves up about the moan. The moan is, is coming mm. anyway. And anyone who's not all bit, just has to probably yeah, he's a moan. Listen, Have you ever heard Dorfer, that? I was born with the moan. I had no choice. <laughs> I've heard I both Dorfer, moans. Everybody <laughs> complains about everything they can ever complain about. It's like, it's, it's cultural there. <laughs> Have I've you heard just, the same? I've, listen, I've heard, heard you both moan and then realized that when that's written down, <laughs> that's going to be wildly taken out of context. 
he said, he said the girls moan. How does he know? What does it all mean? Oh no, what have I done? All of a sudden. Well, I, I noticed when I, when I said, hey Bex, I want to L-I-C-K-U. I thought, oh God, that's going to end up. <laughs> everyone everyone loves, everyone loves a gif and a meme. Have you ever heard that saying, if you want to make an actor complain? give them a job because an actor will be like oh all I want to do is work all I want to do is be on set and then they're on set and they're like a bit cold all I want to do is go home and sleep <laughs> when do you think we'll wrap how long how, how long do you think how, it's been a long sure day are you see me in the background I don't think they're gonna see me <laughs> you didn't need or, me in the rest or how of the fun scene. was blocking every scene you're like ooh <laughs> Wait, what about like when we were shooting once, if we really wanted to go home and we were so fucking tired and so diddished and so done, we would all try and stand <laughs> next to Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Jared has to be released at a certain time because he's a minor. I should stand beside him and therefore I will also be Just bringing up because we love Jared. It's not because nobody likes that we adore Jared. Oh, we love Jared. He's a young actor and the young actors have to be sent home before two o'clock in the morning. So Right, it's union rules. It's union rules, but it's like if you stand next to the child and when he raps, you can't be in the shot. <laughs> and then I and I drive home. I think it, you know who I think? I think it was Ginny that taught me that. She's like stand next to him closer and we're like moving that and blocking trying to get closer and, closer and I looked at her and I'm like you're a genius genius he's a genius, <laughs> he's a genius. He's a genius. and you know what she, she wields her genius so so lightly because she doesn't she's not obvious no, she'll, she'll she's just do this. Like, how did that get changed so that it's so magnificent and she's like Jen next yeah, to yeah, yeah. Do you remember when <laughs> the, the, the night, the, through the night when Tanya had had Flynn and I had to go from the hospital back to the set, oh. we were all filming all that day, and I was just standing there like that, and Ginny was the one that went over and said, send him home, or send him back <laughs> to the hospital, and they just went, yep, yep, chop, yep, and I was like, <laughs> I can't believe you went to work still awake from I'm having a, a baby in the night. I'm a Unbelievable. I'm a wow, what can't you do, Maguire? Uh, everything else. <laughs> <laughs> everything else is shit, but that, showing up, ah, I can do that. that can all right, I'm a geezer. All you need is for someone to show up yeah. for you, right? Oh, yeah. Put, amen, put it on but, a t-shirt. Hey, Rebecca, oh. you have um, some bits of flour in your hair. Oh, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that flower was getting too close. Was that yeah, the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> Oh How am I looking? The Wizard of Oz is looking out for the for the Wicked Witch. That's amazing. Did my hair just get pregnant? <laughs> there's, an, there's another little piece on the lower bit. There you go. There's still a little bit. Are we in the Truman Show? What's happening? <laughs> God, is this you really hear me? I don't know, but you look oh. amazing. <laughs> Stop it. My hair is getting so long. It's really doing my head in. It's like, it wakes me up in the night because I go to turn over. I'm like, <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> It's a it's another Spotlight Zone episode of like the, oh, the woman who's like freaked out that someone's grabbing her neck in the yeah. middle of the night and it's actually her it's hair. Feels, I'm like, help, help. Oh, it's just a <laughs> You are becoming very Rapunzel at this point. It's, 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 it's a bit much, but I will not cut my own bush because I will, I will ruin it. I don't trust myself. You know me. I can't. Wait, here's I can't. One. I'll cut your bush. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> It's gonna turn into like some rap song, like techno, like I cut your bush, I cut your bush. She cut her bush. <laughs> Great, she cut her bush is straight in at number 13. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I miss you guys. I do miss traveling with you guys. I know. I know. I it's so I just it's funny because I, I, listen, I think that this is amazing. I didn't know what Zoom was six weeks ago, and now... I didn't either. The fact that, um, you know, we can all hang out and, and get together, it, it's brilliant. But, you know, it's really brought home the fact that being in a room with someone, being at a dinner table with them or beside the bar or wherever the hell you are, it, I, I, I always knew that that was important to me. But now I'm like, wow, I feel mm. like I'm missing 
sunlight without being able to hug your friends. It's, it's mm. yeah. Well, you know, I actually did see a friend, and it was one of these things where, well, no, two friends because they're married. And, and they live around the corner and they have two dogs. Now, I feel so bad for our animals who are used to like going to dog parks and yeah. socializing. Yeah. They don't understand what's going on. Yeah. And I'm in there and I'm just like, you know, it's been 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 40 minutes. All of a sudden I'm like panicking. I'm like, I gotta go. Like, what am I doing? I can't, I've gotten too close. Like, <laughs> like, happened? I came home and like completely sat, jumped in the shower, washed all the clothes. <laughs> And I thought, this is terrible. This is so, like, I used to hug these people. And I think you should feel fairly confident that people like Dr. Fauci and all of these people, they will not send out a vaccine that is worse than the disease. So I think we'll be in good hands when we get it. And I think that, I honestly think that they've probably got something or close to it because they found in the blood of people who've, who've got better, the, um, that's often where the, the kind of the beginning of the cure comes. And llamas, have you read this? The cure may come from llamas. I'm not joking. What? I'm not. I know you think I'm making what? this up. The cure is coming from llamas? Well, not <laughs> specifically, but if you look up the article, I can't explain the whole thing, but this is not a joke. What? Has, did you llamas, dream this animal, last night? Not llamas. I repeat it. Llamas. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're not going to believe me until you finish this <laughs> and you look it up and you'll go, son of a bitch. Llamas. <laughs> I couldn't make this up if I tried. Son of a bitch, llamas. llamas. <laughs> That's all we needed to get through the pandemic. Llamas. Lo it's always in the weirdest place you look like. Where are my car keys? Ah, oh, they're in a llama. Of course they are. Of course they are. Wait, Where's I need more rosé. Did you I check the llama? I need more rosé. Llamas. <laughs> I'm serious. Unbelievable. When you finish, when you finish talking to me, just look up llamas and coronavirus and you'll see <laughs> <laughs> Sean Maguire, llamas, coronavirus, COVID-19 llamas. I'm definitely Googling that when we're done here. All right, when you do, I want you to text me afterwards. I will. <laughs> by the way, by the way, Mark stole the rest of the rosé, so now I've had to go <laughs> to a Sauvignon Blanc. A Sauvignon Blanc. A Sauvignon Blanc. This bottle was not full, okay? Everyone just relax. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll, 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 okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go. I wish everyone I'll was go. so judgy. Don't you think? Soup's judgy. You know what I care about? Like, one thing that's keeping me really positive and, like, besides all the stuff I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis is to stay excited like a kid looking forward to Christmas is I get excited about that moment when I get to go to England with Milo. Yeah. So I, I hold on to that because it's not like that's never going to happen. And I try not to go, oh, I wish it was happening because that's where I should be right now. But I'm just trying to say soon that is going to happen and it's going to be soups magical. And it kind of, it gives me sort of something to get into that feeling of the wanting and getting excited and staying positive as opposed to being like, oh, I think you know, it's really you know, helpful. Honestly, really, and I'm not being overly optimistic. I'm being like, what, what would I bet on? I think by Christmas, God willing, we will we will maybe start to be flying again. Lana, Lana, what, where, what, like, okay, say you get a phone call in a few days, like, oh, by the way, um, you've got a ticket, it's totally safe to fly, where would you go? I think mm. I would go to Europe. Yeah. It's pretty I, good. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, because then you can train everywhere, you can go, like, yeah. you can <laughs> your car and just you hop can train around, everywhere. as long yeah. as the doors are open, but... Um, I, I, you know, sadly, I'm, I, I was really bummed that we that we didn't get to go to Italy. And yeah, I, me too. I really, really was looking forward to that. On so yeah, we were going to have a holiday there. We were going to have like a two week, 10 day holiday before the gig. And then just, we loved it there last time. So I mean, I, I was there for two and a half months. Oh, oh yeah, God, you fun. were. But you were last summer, yeah. I was up, but yeah, I, I just, I was having <coughs> you, a mighty pray love sort of like love, right? <laughs> and, I, and I, and I was alone and, and sometimes, I, and sometimes I wasn't. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I wasn't. I know. You were like, but she rented a car, Sean. She rented a car by herself and like drove up the whole country, like through the country Never by happened. herself. Like yeah. me, the car like was, Lana, listen to song. My luggage was, was so bigger cool. than the car. No, the car was so small that my, and my luggage, because it's me, 
She's like 20. So happy. You look like 10 you miles. You travel like Prince Akeem from coming to America. She does. There's like 400 she does. trunks and <laughs> some poor man with a trolley trying to. <laughs> <laughs> 10 miles an hour. I mean, it literally like, I was like, Fred Flintstone can go faster than I could. I mean, it was like, so, you know, but, and, and then my luggage at one point, I was like, I don't even know how, you know, and then Jesse came to visit. Remember Jesse? Yes. Oh, was yeah. it, and I was like, oh, oh yeah. he's, he's six two and he has luggage. Like, <laughs> for, uh, the car, it was like. <laughs> And then on, no, but then on top of all the luggage, then she had her fan gift. So it was like, ugh. That's it was right. like a guy, a suitcase, <laughs> 10,000 suit, fan gift. She's like, me. And the body of a the car dragging on the road. <laughs> I, was I, was driving a a I was driving oh, a llama. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine riding a llama through Italy <laughs> with 25 suitcases? <laughs> Hey. With your ro with your rosé, a form of transport <laughs> and the Corona cure. You can't get <laughs> that. Seriously, Google it. Llamas Corona cure. <laughs> and I know loads of people won't, but then they'll be like, but then it will bug you now. It will bug you if you don't look it up, because then you're like, oh, I'm gonna have to now. Wait, John. So how are how are you? So you have two boys and a beautiful wife. With, what are you, how are you all getting on? Do you know what? It's like everyone else have had. Uh, good weeks and bad. The, the last few weeks have been great because I've been super busy. We decorated the boys' room and uh, I finished writing something that I was doing and something else. Nice. And, and being, I've realized being busy is definitely the uh, most successful way for me to get through it because sitting around is the worst. Sitting around doing nothing yeah. is the worst thing I can do. I, I've managed to be so busy. Like Trish goes, you're the busiest person in quarantine. Like I don't know, how to... <laughs> and 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 I'm like, I'm definitely my mother's daughter. Like she. I mean, goes... yeah, but first of all, I mean, you were really, 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 really busy before the quarantine. You were the busiest friend I've ever had. You're just busy. They're just manifesting and meetings and doing things and creating and this and that and not in a bad way. And then, so of course you would be incredibly productive and manifesting shit in a pandemic. Of course you are. Like I'm hashtag not surprised. But, I mean, I, I, I love it. I love it. But, um, but I think there's also the lesson is like to learn for, especially my lesson is to learn how to just do nothing, enjoy right. the mundane, learn yeah. how to putter. And that's, mm -hmm. and, and so I've, I've carved out, you know, minutes in the day to do so. <laughs> no, but I, I, I'm going to chill. <laughs> 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 ah. But the twilight zone has helped with that. And, you know, it's, it, it is, it's a little bit of a challenge, but I, I've actually, I, I try to really look at this as a positive. As Hang on, I've know. got a question about that. Because you picked the Twilight Zone. I had a question that I wanted to ask you, and I think I know the answer to this, but I'm curious. If you, as we're all narrowed down to fewer options, if you could only listen to one musical artist for the rest of your life, which one would it be? Ooh. Bob Marley. Ooh, good. Oh, good. That's a solid respect. Pick. Yeah, that's yeah. one. Because yeah. he's a prophet, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm so good one. It's so soothing. His voice is like, like poof. Mm. And it's like, I want to love you. That's, yeah. That's, that's pretty good I'm going to play him tonight. You've totally inspired these, me. I'm going to put that on tonight. These are my favorite questions. Give me another one. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. I have to answer. I have, I, have a, I have a good one for you. And I don't think I know this. I feel like I know just about everything about you, what skill or party trick, and I'm not asking you to do it because I hate physical challenges, as everyone knows, <laughs> but what skill or party trick do you or can you do that a lot of people don't know? Um, I, I, I can knife fight. I, I, I can <laughs> break your arm and kill you very quickly. Right. <laughs> I was looking, can you play your teeth? No, I can kill you with my thumb. <laughs> Can you I was trained with Mossad and uh, I went through military training and I killed several people. I don't like to talk about it, but uh, when I said party trick, did you hear how do I massacre people? You also said skill. You also said skill. I don't right. skill. Right, I said skill. Right. Kill. I will Let's kill you. Down. Can kill people. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Great arm. 
within seconds. <laughs> right, I'm on a roll. Wait, I've got, and, and I've got a really good one for you. I've got five questions, but I've got one that I think is really exciting. We already asked about where would you go after the pandemic and all of that. There was one other question. Uh, oh, this one, I've got two, and they're both really hard. The first one's harder. The second one is, well, I'll just ask them. <laughs> It's just hard. What is the great, what has been the greatest moment that when, when I ask this, what's the first thing that comes to mind, the greatest moment in your life? Oh, I feel like the greatest moment of my life is yet to come. But Ooh. to date, oh, I don't know. Um, maybe, it um, maybe, maybe, like. it, maybe experiencing my freedom for the first time. As, you know what I mean? Like having the freedom. What do you mean as a young adult? Like what do you mean? Yeah, as a young adult, just going, being in charge of your own life, feeling like I, I am, I, I can actually make my own decisions and yep. the decisions mm -hmm. and choices that I make are going driving to impact. the car. Yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, not even necessarily getting your driver's license first. No, I mean, metaphorically, you're, you're yes. like in charge of where you're going now. You're, you're, yeah. Like, you're, you're, yes. and your goals. Yes. All right, I've got one last question for you. Yes. And this one I like. What is the funniest rumor that you have heard about yourself? <laughs> Good one. Oh, drop the mic, ladies and gentlemen. All of you convention people, like which character <laughs> would you play? Drop the mic. Think again. Wait, Think I deeply. feel like Bex would know this answer better than I would. Um, maybe that I'm a real evil queen. <laughs> Like, no. People think that Wait, about me. They Luna? often think, oh God, she's just like her character. I'm like, maybe, oh, maybe. I did not know me. But, a but then a there's a lot of also beautiful qualities to that character. So, yeah, um, I mean, um, lots of rumors. What, that I had two left feet? I don't know. No, it's no, a weird I one. Know. I mean, sometimes I'm like, yeah, you, know, you probably read question. something about yourself and went, what? Where did they get that from? Like, <laughs> she loves nothing more than to lie in a bath listening to Lionel Richie eating cabbage. <laughs> like, where did you get that from? How did you know that I love doing that? Well, I, I have a webcam in your bedroom. <laughs> we both do. You know what that red light was in the corner? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what do you... Yes. What, what do you miss most about working with me and Sean? <laughs> Like now, now you drop question you've mind. never asked me. Um, <laughs> you know, who's your favorite? These, these who's your favorite? These moments, these moments of <laughs> of just that connection, the um, the trust, the safety, the um, the love, the support. You know, so often we <laughs> we work with people where you're like, oh God, I don't know if this person, I can play with them. Like, can mm. I play with them? And, and do I feel safe to be vulnerable and expose myself and go to places that, you know, as actors, we have to literally turn ourselves inside out. And if you're in an environment and working with people that don't necessarily support that or you don't feel, you feel kind of threatened or un, not safe, it's not, it's not as fun and you're not as free. But with mm. you, I always felt so free. I felt like I can go yeah. anywhere with you two. And, you know, you're always, and it was an even game, you know, it was like, I, it was tennis. Well, also making, making, making each other laugh, I think. So if, you can yeah. make, if you're in company that will make you laugh and you, then time passes quickly. And that, that's, that's the key to a successful day, I think. But yeah. I think if you feel safe, then the comedy just flows too. Like if I feel safe with an actor or at work and then, wait, you're going to make me feel safe while the camera's rolling. And then when we're, I'm eating cheese at 4 a.m., you're going to make me laugh. I mean, we're fucking safe for life. Thank you, Lola. See? <laughs> Lola, totally. See? But it's, My niece gets it. it. But it's no different than being in a, in a relationship. Forget about the industry. Yeah. But you want yeah, to feel safe in a relationship. If, you're feel, if you feel safe in an intimate relationship with someone, the more yeah. vulnerable you're, you can be and you feel like right. you, be, you know, the, you're actually freer. You're just yeah. a freer person. And so, and so, and I always felt that with both of you. I always felt very, very comfortable, very well, safe, very loved, accepted, and seen. You're very yeah, astute because like you're that. wonderful and incredibly humble, as Rebecca has mentioned many times. 
it's my it's my best quality. It certainly <laughs> is. Well, listen, I, I literally we could carry on talking until the sun goes down, but um, we will we will. It's midnight. We've been talking. It's midnight. We We've been talking part. for five hours. I just want to say, we, we miss you. I mean, obviously, we haven't seen each other other than through this, but um, we miss you, and uh, we can't wait for we us love to you. Get, get together when we get out of this uh, crazy period. And oh, will, you do, we, will, you, will you do me a favour as well and just tell your mum that adding um, ice to wine was a really great idea of hers, and I'd like to thank her for it. She's like, yeah. you keep adding the ice and the wine? It's like, you have one drink! Five hours later, I'm like, Meh. so what I'd like to thank Mum and Dee. It just keeps going. It's like one drink all night. So tell your mum I said thank you for that. Yeah. And um, I love we you. love you. So much. We for miss you. Oh and the God. minute it's the minute this is over, Sean and I are coming over and we're getting in your hot tub. Yeah. Just yeah. saying. Oh. And bring the babies. Yes. Okay. I love, I love you, Lana. Now. Thank you so much. This has been so much fun. Dude, love you very much. Love Except you guys. I love everybody and the babies. Thank Bye, you. gorgeous. Love you. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. 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 B